What's up, you guys? You already know what time it is. It is Motivational Monday. And for today's Motivational Monday, I stumbled across an old clip from February of 2014. And I actually encouraged myself. I know there are many out there who are full of talent, but they just don't have the confidence to step out. Maybe you've spoken out on some of your interests and someone has hindered your spirit in such a way to where you don't want to speak about it again, nor do you have the desire to step out. Maybe you have a drive to step out, but that fear, that fear just grabs a hold of your ankle every time. Well, that was me. I've always seen my potential, but I was so afraid, so afraid of stepping out of my box. So this video clip will be to encourage you to either take that first step or if you have taken that first step, but somehow have gotten discouraged along the way to keep stepping, no matter what. Insecurities don't exist without someone putting them there, whether it has something to do with your looks or mentally. For years, I wanted to learn the secret to being confident. I started to sort out why I felt so insecure about a lot of the things that I should have been thanking God for. And as these thoughts started playing through my mind, I thought back to the times where I would hear stuff like, she can draw, but not better than my she uncle. She can braid, but I bet I can braid it better. She cute, but she tall and skinny. She seemed cool, but it's something about her I still don't like. As a result, I grew up hiding. And with braiding for years, I limited myself on creativity. And then I was tall and skinny. I used to wish I was shorter and I wanted to be just a little bit thicker. And so I wouldn't be treated like I had something up my sleeve. I went out of the way to prove my loyalty to people. I will never forget the feeling that I felt when I had became this new person. Although this person was new to me, I felt like I had been this person my whole life. It's sort of like that inner me was trapped behind all of that junk that I had picked up throughout the years. From the anger, the frustration, the depression, all of that stuff was finally being peeled away and I was finally able to look in the mirror and see Tiffany. When you step out, keep in mind, it's going to be a joyous occasion for you. But not everyone is going to be happy with you. And that's something that you have to brace yourself for. I remember having so much confidence about it. Like, not about, oh, I'm good at what I do. But I'm not ashamed anymore. I'm not hiding. I feel free. <laughs> you think everybody was happy for me? No, you got a few people that are happy for you and happy to see you come out. But then you're going to have that few. They're going to turn your joy into some negative. Who she thinks she is? A celebrity? She ain't nothing. I found throughout my journey that as long as you blend in, as long as you keep quiet, as long as you aren't putting your best foot forward, as long as you don't know your identity, as long as you don't know your strength, everyone is pleased with you. Like, you're almost invisible. Say for instance, you started your channel to do makeup. You don't know how to do makeup, but you've been practicing and practicing and practicing. Well, you're doing little makeup looks. They're not too hot, but they're decent. And everyone is like, oh, wow, good job, great job. Oh, it's so beautiful. And you're going to start to realize that as long as you aren't doing good, as long as it's not all that hot, 
you're going to get a lot of pats on the back but as soon as you mess around and get good not everybody's going to be happy for you but should you give up close your channel down or say i don't want to do this anymore i'm gonna switch to something else no because people can see a good quality in you early on but they'll do everything in their power to keep you from seeing it so they'll try to hinder the little bit of confidence that you already have about it there has been so many times where someone will say something negative about something that I love to do someone will plant such a negative seed to where I will even question if it is a good thing why am I even doing this I'm not doing this stuff no more I'm not even really that good at it they don't want you to know so they will either minimize or make light of it or make it seem like it's a bad thing just so you won't keep doing it that's why I say don't give up. 